Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a couple quick and easy tricks that are going to have you inserting title blocks and layouts into your AutoCAD drawings like a pro. Now these little tricks are only going to take you a few seconds but you're going to go from a plain layout to one that you've already created or a custom one in just a few seconds. Now, if you've never created a template or a layout, or you don't have access to one within your company, you're gonna to wanna to start there. Um, but this is gonna assume you already have a title block or layout that you'd like to use in your current drawing. So you can see here, we've got a floor plan drawing in my model space. And in the default layout, you've just got this box here. Now to bring in, say a layout that you've pre-created from another drawing, whether this is an old project or your template file, the easiest way to copy this directly into an existing drawing is to open it up and have it uh, open in the background or in another tab, and then go to the drawing that you want to import this title block or layout into and type in A-D-C-E-N-T-E-R. That's A-D center, or you can hold down control and tap two. This is going to open up the design center within AutoCAD. And along the top here, you want to go to, you're going to want to go to the open drawings. So this is going to show you the drawings that you have open. Uh, you can also browse, but that just takes a lot longer. And I find it much easier to open the drawing quickly that I want to copy things out of. Now this is going to work on a lot of different things and I'll make a full on design center video soon. But for today's case, you're going to want to click on the layouts. Uh, selection here and you simply want to select the layout that you would like to bring into your drawing so you want to make sure you're in your example or your uh, template style drawing hit the plus sign so that it flies out all of the options choose layout and then select and you can hold down control and select more than one option now simply right click and choose add layouts. This is gonna bring these into your current drawing that you've got open here. And you can see at the bottom, both of these tabs have been brought in automatically. Now this would also work if you're bringing in layers, line types, styles, blocks, all of that, you can use the same method. So I'm gonna hit control and two to get rid of that. You can also just hit that X. And now you can see I've got the two new layout tabs at the bottom and they're preset out. This brought in all of the layout tab settings, objects, viewports, everything from that existing drawing. So this is a great way to set up and save time when you're creating new drawings, simply by grabbing or swiping all of these layout uh, objects, text, notes, north arrows, everything is gonna come in from your example or template project. Uh, this saves me a ton of time. Every time I set up a new drawing set, I always copy uh, previous layouts, partly for consistency, so that they always look the same, but also just to save you a ton of time. Now, before we jump into the last couple tips here, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course to learn about creating layouts, to create a drawing template file, layers, how to use XRefs, how to plot and package drawings, and a ton more. You can click the discounted link up above and down below to learn more and pick up that course right now. All right, so moving along, uh, another method to do pretty much the same thing, uh, albeit this may be a little bit easier depending on where your template or layout is coming from, your title block. Uh, but what you can do is right click on any of your tabs down here and choose from template. Now this is gonna create a new tab from a template. Now it's not gonna copy in everything the same way that the AD Center one will, but this is a great way to pull layouts out of your template file since it's going to default to where you save your .dwts. And again, if you don't have a DWT, you definitely should. And you should check out my course up above and down below to learn how to create one. I walk you through it, including setting up all of your layers and a title block that looks like this. Now you can see I've got my list of all my templates here. I can just choose one. So let's say I want to bring in one with the boxes along the bottom in the Imperial uh, units. I can just hit open and it's going to ask me which layout from that drawing I'd like to add to my drawing. So again, you can hold control and select multiple layouts. Hitting OK is going to 
instantly insert those into your drawing and you can see I've got all of these different options already set up into here. Now the one downside compared to the previous one <clears throat> is typically in your template file you're not going to have uh, notes or north arrows or legends all that so if you want to directly copy and recreate a layout from a previous project the first method is probably your best bet if you're just creating new layout tabs with your standard typical template layout then the second method is going to be the one that you want to use so hopefully that helped you these are definitely the quickest way to insert title blocks or layouts into your CAD drawings now there are other more manual ways including copying with a base point from another drawing into a new drawing but there's no reason to do that and we should all be using layouts rather than model space for our uh, title blocks so this is a no-brainer and a huge time saver now if you guys haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my email newsletter where I send out tips like this new videos discounts news of the industry on a weekly basis you can do that by going to cadintentions.com slash sign up or again I'll put those links down below in the comments and description thanks for watching have a good one and cheers